Your Natchez History Minute is brought to you by Natchez National Historical Park. David Holmes was the first governor of Mississippi on December 10, 1817, the day the state was admitted to the Union. Previously, Holmes had served as the fourth and last governor of the Mississippi Territory from March 1809 to 1817. Holmes was born in York County, Pennsylvania in 1769, but his family moved to Virginia when he was just a child. In 1797, Holmes won a seat in the U.S. House of Representatives from Virginia, embarking on what would prove to be a long career of public service. He was overwhelmingly re-elected to the House for the next 10 years, defeating a number of Federalist candidates or running unopposed. In 1809, President Thomas Jefferson appointed him the fourth governor of the Mississippi Territory, and Holmes proved to be a very popular governor, successfully ending a long period of factionalism. In 1817, he was elected president of the State Constitutional Convention, and later, of course, was elected governor. In 1820, the state legislature elected him as a United States Senator for Mississippi, and he was serving his term until he was elected governor of the state again in 1825. He took the oath of office on January 7, 1826, but ill health forced him to resign in July of that same year. Nevertheless, if one counts both his territorial and statehood years, Holmes has the distinction of having been Mississippi's longest serving governor with over 11 years of service. Holmes died on this day, August 20th, 1832, at Jordan's Sulphur Springs near Winchester, Virginia. David Holmes lived at the Governor Holmes House on Wall Street during his term as a U.S. Senator and his second term as governor. I'm Eugenie Cates. My husband Michael and I owned the Governor Holmes House, and it was the home of the first governor of Mississippi, David Holmes. And this has been your Natchez History Minutes.